Hey there, everybody. Uh, I'd like to show you a couple of techniques with Clip Studio Paint that I think is are going to save you a lot of time. Um, if you're like me, you like to do some comic art. You like to do, maybe you do webtoons or maybe you do more traditional type of uh, comic work. Uh, but perhaps you don't have a lot of time to be spending, especially on coloring. Uh, and uh, to be honest with you, I'm not very good at coloring, and it's really not my forte. So I'm always looking for ways to kind of uh, looking for some shortcuts uh, as far as coloring and uh, rendering some scenes. So I'd like to show you um, a city scene, a village scene here, and I'd like to take you through the steps. In uh, The first step is uh, what I did was I got some models here. Uh, in Clip Studio, and as you can see, um, you can I think I believe these were free, and I put them in, and you know you can basically move them and make them any size that you want, uh, and uh, I think this is going to be very helpful. Other than uh, actually making the models yourselves or. Or, or just making something from scratch. I always have a hard time with that. Uh, and so I put it together in uh, in this picture here. And I also have a background, uh, some sky, but that actually is going to come a little bit later. There's a tree that I put in here. I put in some people and I put this um, uh, this little bridge here you can see in the foreground. And, and I just made it... Um, you know, you can do to the scale uh, however you want. And then I put, there's a couple little birds up here too. Uh, anyway, um, what I did then uh, is I came over and I exported it. Uh, and basically I'm just using it. Um, you could do this straight in the Clip Studio as well. Uh, but I went ahead and took it over into Procreate. If I come over to Procreate here, um, I have it here and... Uh, if I go to if I go to my replay, the time lapse replay, and I kind of go through it, you can see how I've just basically gone over and traced everything, and I have myself a black and white drawing. Uh, now you might wonder how long this took. The setting up the model, the models and everything. Uh, I'm guessing it probably took ten or fifteen minutes. It doesn't take that long, uh, but if you're curious about how long it takes you to draw it. You can go to Canvas and you can go to Canvas Information and right down here it says Tracked Time, 1 hour 26 minutes. So um, I, I did put a lot of detail in this but that's just up to you uh, how much how much detail you're going to put in. So once I had the this black and white image um, what I did was I brought it back over into Clip Studio I just use Procreate because I like the way that the inking works. Uh, however, you probably could just go straight into Clip Studio and do that as well. Um, <clears throat> anyway, bringing it back over here, uh, let me come over. Uh, here it is, back in just the black and white version. And I'd like to show you two, two quick shortcuts here. Uh, one is under Edit, and it's Colorize. If you hit Colorize, and then you hit Colorize All, um, Clip Studio Paint will kind of do its best to color the picture. And if you can see here, did an okay job, um, and there's some issues. Um, but if I turn off the inks, you can actually see that it did. it's kind of cool. It, it did the, the roof tiles, and it kind of did its best to separate the different areas. I've not tried this with uh, individual people, uh, like if you have a character, I really don't know how it works with that. Um, but this is just kind of a real quick way, it's a one button push uh, to get some things colored. The next thing that I would suggest is um, then doing uh, a gradient map. And if you go to layer, correction layer, and you can hit gradient map, this is another quick way to unify all those colors. And one I often use is called Sunrise, if you hit OK. Um, 
and that creates a gradient map and basically that's going to use two colors and those two colors blended together uh, to to simplify the colors and I don't know to make it look a little bit a little bit better now you can see there's a couple areas where uh, the colors didn't work out if you want you could go back in and clean that up uh, the only other thing that I've done is uh, I'm going to move this up is I added in some clouds uh, that was another uh, picture and if you um, uncheck the I put a um, I put a um, uh, what is that the mat uh, there uh, on it if you uncheck that and you come over you can then you can grab the move tool and you could you can move this around uh, a little bit and you can see uh, that it changes um, you know you can change the sky up a little bit uh, anyway the entire process here especially the gradient map and the colorize option just takes you less than a minute so you could you can have a black and white image and you can get in there you can get it colored uh, you can use if you don't like the gradient maps that are included in a clip studio clip studio paint you there's a lot more you can download and also I believe um, all the models that I used um, were free uh, at least in this one so it's a real quick way to get kind of a nice looking little scene uh, for your comic or your webtoon and not spend a lot of time on it uh, if I had to try to create a city from scratch it could just honestly take me all day uh, however, if uh, I was a little bit quicker in inking, I feel like this process, you could do a really nice village sort of a scene for in, in under an hour, which would really be great. Um, and uh, so anyway, I hope this tip is very helpful. If you have any tips, please leave a comment uh, about what you do to kind of speed up your work. Hopefully I can bring you some more of these tips in the future, but I hope this one helped you out. And anyway, thanks for watching.